What up everybody, Josh Shelby here. Thank you all so much once again for tuning in. Now before I start this video, I want to apologize for not putting out any content in well over a month. But due to a very unexpected mishap that happened in the early weeks of August, I decided to take some time off and reflect and keep myself motivated. Make no mistake, I will not be shutting down my channel, much to my haters dismay, nor am I permanently leaving YouTube. Were that the case, I let you all know in a more professional manner. I get too much enjoyment out of making videos and with a lot of the comments that I've received, I know I'm doing a good thing. Now with the growing cries and increase of those in support of Zack Snyder's cut of Justice League, I decided today's video should cover a certain gentleman by the name of Jay Oliva. I've made several videos on Jay in the past and Jay, if you're by chance watching this, I sincerely apologize for butchering your last name. In today's era of the internet, it seems like anyone can be a celebrity and everyone is seemingly an insider, and as long as your words make sense to the thousands following you, then what you are saying must certainly be true. Even if you delete your tweet about Venom not having his costume in his own movie, like Jeremy Conrad, or spew some incorrect information about Dark Phoenix, and then attempt to publish a different article, people somehow will still believe the words you write and not hold your inaccuracies against you. Jay's support for Zack Snyder has been evidenced time and time again, as he himself has strategically clapped back against several Twitter users who try to pretend that they know more than those involved in the making of these films. Even as they try to rise over the hill, Jay just hits them back with more knowledge. To me, this is a very good thing. Jay giving out knowledge and ethering the trolls and buffoons not only does that, it also separates fact from fiction, and also sheds some insight on what was originally meant to be. I don't know about everyone else, but I'd much prefer Jay Oliva to be giving us the facts as opposed to the person with a gazillion followers tweeting out something they heard. I think Alonzo Harris said it best, it's not what you know, it's what you can prove. Jay's responses not only state the facts, but he gives the details exactly as they are. The best part about it is that he seemingly wastes no time in responding and also doesn't mess around. His job as a storyboard artist has seen him not only be involved with several DC projects, but even Marvel projects like the first Deadpool movie, Ant-Man, and the best apocalyptic parody in the world, Thor Ragnarok. Jay Oliva's credentials and knowledge of the lore speak for themselves, and ultimately all feel necessary, in a time when the truth is so easily disregarded over a lie.